<laughs> what is going on guys it is fatal reaper here today bringing you guys a new video we are on um i usually study hp pavilion we're doing an updated review on the scuff gaming controller that i did about two months ago and if you haven't already guys be sure to hit that like button and subscribe as always so if you were pointed this out to me and wondered if i could do an updated review thank you for that i was thinking about doing that but never really got um I didn't even know the video had as many views as it does. It has over a thousand views now, so thank you guys for that. And uh, knowing how more popular it got and a lot more people have some questions, I'm going to go over a full dive of how well the controller's been and how it's holding up. So for you, those of you who don't know, I ordered a scuff controller um, roughly three to four months ago. Now, the video of the original video you guys have probably seen, if you haven't already, you can go check that out. I, that was about a month after I got the controller, so and that was two months ago was the video was posted. So it's now been, you know, three to four months, and you're probably wondering, how is it holding up? I do have to say that the controller itself has held up very, very well. There's not any, besides right here, you can notice some, a few scratches. The camera doesn't really pick it up. There are a few scratches right there from where I'm plugging in um, the power cord and everything with it. But other than that, there's no noticeable any kind of damage whatsoever to the controller. There's not really any smudges or anything. The toggle switches are in still good use. All the buttons are very responsive, um, uh, as well as the triggers and the bumpers and the D-pad and everything like that. And I have to just say, overall, there's not really anything bad and everything, like the paddles have been holding up great. And then you got the uh, two little, uh, this is, I call it trigger control. What it is is the trigger pull length. So, like, you're, you can change the trigger pull length. There are little, um holes here for the keys that it comes with that you can uh mess with that how to your liking like as far as the trigger pull goes you can put it to where you want it um i personally don't use it that much as i thought i would i use the paddles more than anything and we'll bring out another controller here that i've had this was about a 40 to 60 dollar controller um here in just a second i'm also going to show you some gameplay a few uh quad feeds i got now these weren't in actual game these were just in my training where i do with bots on modern warfare but just to show you a little bit of gameplay with it now i don't have a controller cam i do plan to do that later on so for those of you wondering if i could get a controller cam i do plan to later on that way y'all guys can see me playing with the controller and how it holds up and how you can play with it um so the controller itself i have to say as far as durability and that's a big question i get how durable durable is it um personally i mean i mean if you dropped it hard enough and stuff anything's gonna break like that um personally i don't think it's bad but i do consider it fragile because i do take very good care of it i, I mean it was a very expensive controller it was around 220 dollars after all taxes and all and shipping and handling um so i do have to say i would take very good care of it and do treat it with care and try not to drop it now, I'm going to be going over some other things, so an, one thing that people might find and they may not like about it themselves, I personally don't have this issue, I like it, but the controller is a lot lighter than other controllers, like the one you're seeing next to it in the video, but the biggest thing that I will tell you, the best thing that I have to say overall after the three months after having the controller, the by far the best thing is not the triggers or the paddles to me, it's the, it's the comfort. Like, this has got some, this controller right here has got some good, like, little, um, uh, I believe it's some type of leather or whatever or rubber that's supposed to be really really um comfort com com comfy but personally this controller I don't know what kind of rubber this is on it or whatever but it is just so comfy on the controller I have to say the comfort on this thing is amazing when I'm playing games for especially for long periods of times so I have to say guys hands down this controller is still amazing have had no issues with it as of right now I'll keep you guys updated if you guys have any questions please leave me some comments down below on this video or the other one and I'll get back to you but this is my updated review and again guys I've had no issues with it whatsoever it's still an awesome controller this is the scuff prestige controller if you're wondering you can get on their website and they are pretty pricey over the $200 range but I do have to say guys again it's been a great great controller I've had no issues with it whatsoever and if you guys have any questions again leave me comments down below I'll see you guys in the next video thanks for watching as always. UAV is ready for 
flyover. That is the way. On to the next round. <laughs>